This is how I attach these cross beams for the outriggers or arcus for the armors, however you want to call them. Just four bolts two at the top and one either side. The outriggers were originally designed to pitch and follow the waves, but I've added that little strut just as a temporary fix. The motor mount also just attaches with four bolts and gets covered with a blade to turn it into a nice box section. The MBBT fits behind the bulkhead and Underneath the motor mount, I mount it at an angle and it simply kept up this tiny little bracket. Finally, just a cable tie. Before I wrap everything up in insulation tape, this is how I've got it wired up. Solar power wires coming in, they have yet to be connected up front at the solar panels. From there, wire out on the battery terminal of the MPPT. That goes straight into the ESC and then in parallel with the ESC is a few supercapacitors and then wired very precariously in parallel with the supercaps are these two lithium polymer batteries, three cells uh, each in series, gives me 24 volts. They are actually wired with a diode in place. I don't intend to put power into them, charge them. They'll be running slightly higher voltages than what would be safe for them. They are simply there to maintain a voltage of at least 24 volts on the supercaps. Now that the NPPT sees the battery, it's safe to connect the solar power itself. And I'm using this remote monitor to check battery voltage, solar power, charging, etc. There's some power coming in, charging up to 27 volts. Perfect. Okay, that looks good. Voltage stays at 27 volts. That means the super caps are doing their job. Actually, what used to be the reason for the voltage drop was just a big difference in panel and uh, MPPT output voltage. And now that I've got it at 27 volts, problem sorted.